Okay, so now what I want to do is actually mirror this bucket. So all I want to do is just go into object mode, okay? And I'm going to mirror it in the z-axis. I think I'm mirroring it positively in the z-axis. So hopefully I've got that right. Uh, I want to go mesh, mirror geometry. Let's click on our options. So it's positive in the z-axis. Let's click mirror. Okay, great. That's done that for us. Um, and uh, that's worked out fine. Okay, however, um, what you'll see is it has actually mirrored uh, these. Um, this, it's also mirrored the shells. Um, so, th so our actual twos and ones are, are are the wrong way round on this surface, uh, and they're also the wrong way round on this surface and on this surface. So everything, all our shells basically need to be flipped. Okay, so if I go into, if I select this object, what you'll actually see is there should be, if I go, if I go UV shell, you'll see that it should have created an entirely new set of shells for that mirror. So if I click on that and then click polygons, flip, okay, all right, you can see now, so all I did was go polygon, flip, it flipped the shell, so now that is facing the correct way, okay? Again, I want to do that with all of my uh, UVs, just move, uh, uh, it's better to select the shells from the 3D model, because then you'll select the right shells. So again, I'm going to move that up, go polygon, uh, flip, okay, so that's correct. And I'm going to select this shell, move it, polygon, flip, okay, so again, that's correct. And then finally, I'm going to select this shell, Let's go polygon flip. So that's now correct as well. Okay, brilliant. Don't worry about lining these uh, these ones up. That's not something that we need to do. We just need to make sure that we've got a nice, uh, even, uh, evenly unfolded surface. Okay, uh, which we have. Okay, great. Um, okay. Next thing we want to do is really. Um, we don't really want this bit here to be a separate, to be made of two separate shells. We'd like this, this bit of the shell here, uh, these two bits to be joined up. So the way that we're going to do that is simply select this shell and select this shell. And then what we're going to do is going to go polygons and then we're going to go sew UV edges. In fact, what we want to do is we want to go move and sew UV edges. Okay. Uh, oh, that wasn't quite what I wanted. Let's try that again. Uh, let's make sure we've got those facing the correct direction. I'm going to try that again. It wasn't quite what I was expecting to happen. Okay, polygon, move and sew UV edges. What I might need to do is look at my options. Seems to be fine. Let's try move and sew again. Okay, again, it seems to be coming up slightly uh, bizarre. Option. I'm going to go control Z again. Okay, I've figured out what I was doing wrong. In order to do this uh, uh, part of the operation, what we need to do is just select the edge. So if I go edge and then just select, if you double click here, it will select the entire edge loop that goes around the middle of this bucket here. Then we'll go polygons, move and sew edges, and you'll see that it's actually sewn those edges together. And if I go into uh, UV shell now, you'll see that this is all just one shell. Okay, great. Final thing we want to do then is scale all these bits so that they all nicely fit into this square here so that we can actually then uh, start applying a, a texture to them. Okay, so next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab, uh, I'm going to scale this down, use the scale tool, scale these down and move them. So I'm just using the standard scale and move tools to do this. Uh, again, I'm just going to. Scale it down. Uh, in fact, actually, what might be a good idea is to scale all these down by the same amount. Uh, so scale them all together. Ooh, I'm going to scale them in both axes if I can. Hang on, let's try again. Uh, for some reason, it's... Uh, Not letting me scale both axes. If I hold control down, that should allow me to scale both axes down. Okay, great. So I'm scaling them down in both axes, and if I scale them all together, that should give me a sort of even result. And then I can actually just reposition these. Uh, 
uh, move them around. I'm going to kind of put them here and here. Great. Okay. And then what I want to do is this uh, this item here, I need to scale this down as well uh, by quite some amount. Let's have a look. Ooh. Let's scale and then keep scaling it down. That looks about right. Again, we're going to move this into here. We need to scale it even further. Okay. Move it into position. Great. We put it this side, and then these elements again need to be scaled down as well. Again, what I'm going to do is select both these uh, bits of the shell and scale them down together. Again, I'm just going to control, use control so I can scale them in both, scale them down in both axes. That'll do, and then I'm going to move them. So here again, I need to scale and move. So all I'm doing is just scaling and moving these textures. Now there is a bit of space here. We also we want to try and make efficient use of our our texture space here. We've only got so many pixels to play with. So you don't want these to be too small. If there is space to make them larger, we want to, well, we want to use that. Uh, so I'm just going to scale this up a little bit just to make better use of the space. Again, I want to scale in both axes. Not sure why my computer wants to scale in one axis, but today, but it does. So uh, again, it's doing that. Okay. Move that over there. And then what I'm going to do is select these elements here, and again I'm going to scale. Do that again, and yeah, and hopefully I can make slightly better use of the space that I've got, uh, and move these into here. Yeah, that's making better use of it. Okay, so that uh, effectively is our uh, unfolded model uh, ready. Um, uh, to go to Photoshop and start texturing, which we will do in the next video.